What's up everybody? Today we're going to take a look at my Imperial Knights army for Warhammer 40k. What you're looking at here is between 2,000 and 3,000 points depending on the loadouts you go with. And I have them painted up as House Tyrannus, which I chose just because I like the paint scheme, not necessarily for their rules. I kind of play them as whatever house I want in game. This was actually my first 40k army, and it's the army that actually attracted me to the game in the first place, because who doesn't like big stompy robots? So let's check it out. Right here we have two Armager Warglaives. And each of them, I have the gun on their heads just set up as push fit. So you can just take them off and put them back on and they stay in there pretty well. So no need to use magnets. And then behind them we got two Armager Helverins. Same thing for the guns on their heads if you want to switch them out for the Meltas. And then behind that you'll see three Questorus Pattern Knights. And I have all three of these fully magnetized so they're more or less interchangeable. The melee weapon arms are pretty straightforward. I just have magnets put in at the shoulders to switch them out. The ranged weapons are a little more complicated, they also come off at the shoulder, but then the kits don't have enough of all the pieces, so I have the barrels as well as some of the greebly bits on the sides all magnetized so they can be switched out and you can play them fully WYSIWYG. Honestly, I would probably recommend just doing the barrels and not bothering to magnetize all the extra bits, but that's obviously your call. Some of the places I've mounted the magnets on these, it's actually completely hollow behind the magnet, so what you want to do is backfill it with some extra sprue so you have somewhere to glue the magnet to. But honestly, these are some of the easiest models to magnetize because they're so big. So let's just pop that back on there. Next we have the carapace weapons, also magnetized. Pretty simple, just stick a magnet on the top of the head and one on the bottom of the weapon. For the missile pod, I also magnetized the faceplate so I could switch them between the missiles and the rockets. This might be the trickiest one to do, but I just use an L-shaped piece of sprue and make sure to flatten out all the edges so that you get some really good connection points with the glue and it should hold pretty good. And then lastly we have the stubber or melta. Again pretty straightforward, just stick a magnet underneath and one on the end of each of the guns so you can swap these guys out. And back here we have the third Questorus pattern. And then in the back we have the big boy. This is a Knight Castellan. These guys don't have a lot of different options, so there's not much magnetizing to do. But each of the shoulder and head weapons can be magnetized to switch out. Again, pretty straightforward, just a magnet on each side. And that's the whole army. You don't really have to have a lot of Imperial Knights to have a full army on the board. The most you could ever really run is like 5 or 6 in a 2000 point game, and that would include a couple of the Armagers. But yeah, I really like how this army looks. Knights are definitely my favorite. I think the only thing I want to add to this army is maybe a Knight Valiant, just to sort of round out the collection of all the plastic models. So drop a comment below and let me know, do you think I should pick up a Knight Valiant, or do you think I should hold out hope that Games Workshop will put out a bigger Knight in plastic? Is that just wishful thinking, or do you think it's possible? I guess we'll have to wait and find out. But anyway, let me know what you think of this army, and don't forget the like this video and subscribe to the channel for more and thanks for watching.